Hi, I'm Michael Whitehouse, the guy who knows the guy with your motivational minute. Why are people so concerned about their boss's comfort? I talk to people sometimes who are, well, I talk to people all the time, who have bad jobs or good jobs, but they're having a bad time at that job for some reason. And I'll say, did you talk to your boss about it? Oh, no, no, I don't want to make waves. I don't want to disrupt things. I don't want to mess this up. Mess it up? It's already messed up. You're unhappy. You don't like your job. If you don't talk to the person making you unhappy, you'll always be unhappy. I talked to someone uh, in the last couple weeks who was in a situation where they like the job, but there's a, there's a part of it that's a problem. And their boss is aware of the problem, aware they're even considering quitting. And I said, okay, well the next step if you're going to be looking for a new job is you want to make sure your network knows you're in the market, what you're looking for, and what you have to offer. That way they can say, oh, I know someone who needs you. Right? The average person has supposedly 250 connections. On social media, it's 1,000 to 5,000 connections. One of them knows that job you're looking for. Whether or not Facebook will connect to you, whole different story. But they need to know. You need to put it out there. And I asked this person, I said, have you put it out there that you're considering? And, and they said, no, no, no. I don't want to disrupt the situation. I don't want to leave on bad terms and whatever else. I said, your boss knows you're thinking of leaving. You've said you're thinking of leaving, but, and then I wonder, how many times have you said you're thinking of leaving before? And the boss says, well, I wish you wouldn't, but, well, but it is what it is. If they see on Facebook a post where you're telling your friends, I'm not leaving my job yet, but I'm open to opportunities. Does anyone know of anything that might be a good fit for me? Could you please connect me? Just that shows you're serious. Just that shows that you are, are serious about looking at something. And this is the entrepreneur mindset. I often talk about the employee mindset versus the entrepreneur mindset. The employee mindset is you marry a job and hope you don't get divorced. And you really do treat it like a, like a marriage, right? If you're in a marriage and you're looking around, well, that's gonna seriously disrupt the marriage. But you're not married to your job. You have a business relationship with your job. I have always thought of myself as a contractor, consultant, and even if I have one exclusive client who is providing me all of my income, I still think of myself as an entrepreneur who has one exclusive client who is my job. When you think of yourself that way, you're more comfortable keeping the lines of communication open for other opportunities. This is the problem with the job employee mindset. In the employee mindset, you shut down your entire job finding networking apparatus when you get a job. And if you don't, if you're seen to be maintaining this apparatus, then your boss say, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing looking around there? What are you thinking there? Instead, you want to be thinking like an entrepreneur and always looking for opportunities. And if your boss says, hey, what are you doing? Say, I'm always building my network. I'm always staying current. And that's beneficial because your, those connections are beneficial to your work for your job, presumably. And it keeps your boss honest. If you are maintaining this connection, say, hey, you know, I, I see you're, you're talking to people, you're talking to this company, you're doing this, you're doing that. What's going on? I always keep my options open. Well, I thought you worked here. Sure. I'm very happy here right now. And as long as I stay happy here, none of this is going to matter. So let's just keep doing what we're doing, keep it good. And some might be offended because they're going to get jealous. And they're so jealous is because they need what you do. So they should probably keep you happy. And if they don't like the fact that you are keeping other options open and that you could always leave and get a new job, that sounds like insecurity to me. It sounds like they want you there. It sounds like you have some leverage. Use it. The employee-employer relationship is often very uneven, where the employer has all the power, the employee has no power because God forbid you have to leave, you probably have no savings if you're like the average American. You have a very short runway if you need to find a new job and just gonna jump into the next thing and it's terrifying. So one, you should have savings because that gives you leverage. But two, just psychologically. If you think of yourself as dependent on your boss, then your job will progressively get worse most likely. Starts good and just gets a little worse over time because you're not asserting yourself. You're not seeing that leverage. You've got to assert yourself in that job. And so if you're in that position, where you're on the brink of leaving, you're not doing it yet, but your boss knows you're thinking about leaving, don't be afraid to start putting out feelers. And don't be afraid to let your boss know you're putting out feelers because 
At worst, you'll precipitate the course of action that you probably should have taken a long time ago. And at best, your boss will notice that you're serious and maybe get in the game and up their game to make sure they can keep a very valuable employee. I'm Michael Whitehouse. Thanks for watching.